There are lots of videos out there challenging atheists or presenting questions for atheists to answer. I want to make a video challenging theists. Probably only a handful of people will ever see this, but I'll make it anyway on the off chance that more people may see it in the future. I'm going to present a short, concise argument about why it's irrational to believe in gods of any sort, and see which response theists make. One choice is to ignore it or go la 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 la, but hopefully you will actually take the challenge. All the falsifiable gods have been disproved, and some are even logically impossible. There are some which are not falsifiable, and apologists seem to rely on these concepts being untestable. These gods are what people debate. However, there is no verifiable evidence of any gods for one to even know about such a concept. There is no logical proof of any kind that can show a god must exist using pure reason. There is also no testable, verifiable, empirical evidence either. So we are left with the concept of God being a product of the human mind. There is no other way to know anything. So if any gods were to exist, it would be coincidental to these made-up concepts. These gods would also be hiding their existence. This makes the idea about as unlikely as anything can be. So, it would seem that believing in such a thing is nothing but the product of psychological foibles and childhood indoctrination. It's like an urban legend on a grand scale. All throughout human history, so many legends and stories were created, many of which anthropomorphized the unknown into beings with magical properties, but with human behaviors mirroring the culture of their origin. These evolving memes injected into the unprotected minds of children are the only way any god concept can be known. It's the ultimate in unlikeliness, and there is simply no reason to believe in such obviously made-up concepts. So, will you answer my challenge, or take the ignoring or la-la-la option? Can you answer by providing some line of reasoning showing that a god logically must exist and therefore be the knowledge source of the concept? Can you answer by providing verifiable, empirical evidence of this god, thus giving us knowledge of that concept? Or, do you admit there is no reason to believe in such things, that only indoctrination allowed you to ever take such things with any degree of seriousness? If so, do you continue with your faith anyway in the face of all reason, thus admitting it's nothing but faith for no reason? Or do you abandon this faith? Or, more interestingly yet, do you reject these as being the only options and instead prove the existence of another possibility and then use that to answer my challenge? If you take the third option, but think the two outcomes of admitting faith for no reason or abandoning faith is a false dichotomy, feel free to explain why that is and express your take on the meaning of accepting that third option. The purpose of this is not to upset anyone. It's simply to get people to think. We should all be able to hold whatever beliefs we want, provided they do no harm to anyone else. At the same time, we have the right to not have those beliefs. Having a belief, a conflicting belief, or no belief at all, also should not be a criteria for prejudice or holding someone in contempt. Only the resulting actions, if any, on an individual case-by-case -case basis should be up for such judgment. So, the purpose of this challenge is just to get people to think and to show there is absolutely no reason to believe any gods exist, as well as provide opportunity for anyone to prove otherwise. The only question is, 
how will you respond?